This is a poem about love and hate. If love is what you seek and love is what makes you meek and love makes you cry and makes you drip with what you don't need. You don't need to be a fool. You don't need to be a tool to someone's love that you can't get or even make. Return love to you, then you need to be someone who's free to seek another love because another love is something that will make you love better than before. Because if you start to hate the one you love, then that love will succumb to what love can do and that is more hate. There's no stronger hate than from love. And if love is something that you make to someone who doesn't have love in their heart for you, then they can love you forevermore because they can't hate you forevermore because they've never really loved you enough to hate you. But if they say they hate you and they denigrate you and they escape you and they say you hate you, then you're the one who doesn't hate them because you love them more. And if love is something that you believe, is something that you can perceive, is something that you can believe is the worst kind of love to leave. When you love harder no more and you think that love can't be loved like that before, then it's not true because love is an infinite well of more love that you can believe. You can dip your toe once again and you can believe that when it's time again, that love will rise up in you and you will know. That if the love that you you find is a better love than you left behind, then that love that you find is the truer love that you did need. Because a love that leaves you and a hate that grows inside you is a hate that can keep you from loving evermore. And if the evermore that you love is the love that you want to love and the evermore doesn't love you forever... And if you simply sit and wait and you simply take the denigrate, then you're the man who doesn't know how much you love. Because you don't want to love anymore because you know that you can't feel more. And then let fire light your love that you have inside for once more. Someone you simply adore, someone you simply could not deplore, someone you simply could not show the door forevermore. It's that kind of love that God says is real. It's the kind of love that God says has no appeal to people who simply say love like that kind isn't love meant for you. But those who throw away love that way are the ones who cheapen love in every way by not believing love is the thing that's not a mistake ever to try more. Because if you say love is a waste and you say the next person is going to be more great, then you throw away the chance for the greatest love that you may never find is true. And you simply lessen your degree to love by simply lowering what you expect love to be. Because the love you had just didn't have a ceiling like you imagined love could be. But the other person just can't raise it right and can't live it like you like because they can't make you feel the love that you had before. But you say that love must be that way. Maybe love settles down and stays in the right one if that right one is the one you still love. But if love doesn't have a fire and a flame that doesn't light up and exclaim that sometimes I fucking love you, but I fucking hate you, then it's not true love like God may say. God may tell you a different way that if that's the love you have, then you might be righter than anyone you've ever loved before. Don't be afraid to hate someone you love, but don't be afraid to love them more if you hate them so much that you don't know how much you love them. Because if you love someone that way and you can't hate them for anything or mistake that God says they may have done or do to you, then you're their savior. You're the one that they can trust and you're the one that they can lust in a way that nobody has ever had them for. And they have never known what it could be if a man lusted to that degree that he could shape their world in a different way and make them say, If love was something I knew before, then this man changed me for what love could do before. Because love is something that I know better than I knew before. Because if I'm a woman who didn't know what love could be, because I chose other men simply, because other men love better like I like, rather than I knew what love could truly be, then I simply kept compromising my standards of love. And I kept on saying someone loved me better because they didn't love me like someone loved me before. 
They were just someone who I would say was a better lover in every way because I didn't want to proclaim any love for someone I wanted to hate. But if someone loves you that way but doesn't say they love you any more than they never told you they loved you, then they wouldn't be a liar. But they could tell you a different day that they were sorry that they exclaimed that they weren't the one that needed you to love them that way. Because they weren't ready for that degree. Because you didn't know what it might be to go ahead and ask God, let me feel what love can be. And then God tells you, okay, son, I'm going to let you... I'm going to let you touch the sun and don't let it burn because love's like that way. And when I didn't know it could be so true, when it scorched me right out the blue, when I didn't want to go any further, I did say, God, please reduce my love because I can't take this love inside because it doesn't go anywhere that it takes place. In a woman's heart who doesn't know that the love I might have shown is far truer than I've ever known love could be. Because if that kind of love is what you can do and you can describe it like I do, then you know love better than me for sure. But if you can't say a word like love for me is something that you could believe is real, then I wouldn't say that this was for you. Because if I say your name, then God's going to not complain. But I'm going to be like, God, you set me up again to say once more. If you're the woman that I deplore, you're the woman that I can't stand, and you're the woman that keeps on coming around and says shit about me, then I fucking probably do love you, but I don't want to tell you I love you because you get all fucking skittish and run away. Like a little child that can't know love was something other than some old guy who trusted that love was something more than he had before. Because when I have love before and I've had children from that love, and I know what love is because I love my children evermore. And it's a different love to love a child, but it's not a love that some might say is wild, like a love for a woman who doesn't believe love can be true. But if a woman thinks she's in love, then a woman can't trust her love until a man makes her feel that she's in lust like never before. The lust that a woman can feel for a man who loves her for real is a man who can make a woman lust like never. She's lusted for any man. And a lust like that is what God loves to see in his plan because it's a lust that elevates even women or men to a degree of greater love because lust does not take a tumble or a fuck up. It makes people better lovers in all ways. It's the lust that we share with those we love that makes men and women greater than they could ever trust because lust doesn't seem to be the rule to better. When you lust in a way that can't be right, some say that lust is something that's out of sight. But when lust is such to a degree that a woman might not yet exist who comes back to just persist that the man who she loves will make her lust like that again. It isn't because the man's gone, it's because she had to do something right for wrong and she didn't know why she had to do it in a different way. And she didn't know if he'd ever see, but she knew that he might be the one who would see because that's what God told her it could be. And she didn't do it for free, but she didn't do it for fame and she didn't do it because she knew she needed to. She maybe did it because luck was what God did say. The man needs you today, and you're still in his future. Can you believe it?